get charged for insurance. And I'll put the rates on the screen right here. DJ, you know it's been a good little break before I posted anything, but today oh, we are heading up to McDonald to pick up an empty container, as you can see, Bob telling. Damn, I just changed this fuel filter. Did I already time for some more for another one? Check the oil on this thing. Yeah, I done took me a little break here recently. Kind of low in oil, look at that. We'll stop to get us a gallon of stick in here. Kind of took me a break. Um, as you can see, brand new leaf spring. I had a leaf spring break on me down there in Savannah not too long ago. And a lot of other little things been happening, you know, led to me to take a break from from really filming really ain't worth it running these loads no more like it like it was so just really ain't worth it no more like it was so took me a little break and I'm gonna explain to you what what's been going on over here at GFA the reason I took me a little break and actually about to move on past um about to move on past GFA. GFA gonna be a thing in the past real soon. So let's get this baby fired up and we're gonna get on up to McDonald's. I've been going to 
Florida a little bit more with Zio Faith. I went over to Alabama. When I went to Alabama? A couple days back, I went over to Alabama. Um, but I, uh, the reason I ain't recording that is because I only got a Georgia tag. Yeah, I may be breaking the law a little bit, but hey, we all do it um, one time or another in our life. Um, but actually, I had a permit when I went to Florida. Um, the second time, the first time, I did not have a permit. So I'm currently working on my, give me a, a tag right now. Um, this company I'm going with, they got a lot of stuff going on to Columbia, not Columbia, Columbus, Georgia, and of course, Atlanta. And she said they're working on an account. It's a smaller company, you know. They're working on an account up in Virginia. She didn't say what part of Virginia, but she said they're currently working on it. So I told her um, that would be something that I would be interested in once they do get the account, you know. But, um, you know, so that's what I'm working on right now. Um, but GFA. GFA cut the rates. Insurance is high. Um, we get charged $64 a day. We get charged $64 a day. So whatever that load pays, we got a minus $64. Now this is for five days. If you work six days or seven days, you don't get charged $64. Um, and this is excluding my bob tail. This ain't my... Um, I guess it's called liability. This is my ELD. Um, so basically, 64 times five. That's what we get charged for insurance. And I'll put the rates on the screen right here. This is what they went to. Well, I take that back. This isn't what they went to. This is the final numbers because when they initially dropped the rates, they told us to basically give them our concerns about how we feel about these new rates. And everybody wrote in, so they came back and gave us those rates right there. Um, so really make really didn't make too much of a difference. So what it boils down to is we run up for free, you know. And like I said, I had parked my truck for a little while, looking for something else to do a little bit of side work. Um, but this week I probably end up running three, maybe four days with them, depending on what come up. Like I said, I didn't drug test um, but it's really the definition of running for free with the, how they drop these ranks you know um, I made more than this for pencil you know everything boiled down to it so I told them nope well we need you to go back to Florida no nope, it's not worth it it's not worth it buddy it's not freaking worth it so like I said I'm gonna knock these couple days out and hopefully by the end of this week I just took my drug test last week. So, hopefully this is basically, hopefully this is the last week. Um, and if I do have something come up where I see I can make more money um, not being in this truck, then I will not be running this truck, you know. But um, I'm pretty much locked in with this new company I'm going with. It's a smaller company. And I was, you can't find a lot about them on Facebook, but I remember they, they've been around for a long time. I remember when I used to pull for OTD back in 2015, I used to see a lot of their company trucks coming up and down I-16. But um, you don't really see a lot of their company trucks anymore. You just see on the operators. You know, I guess a lot of people going away from company drivers. How company drivers really don't take care of stuff like on the operators. That's what they told us at GM8. You know, that's why they got rid of a lot of the company drivers. Company drivers don't be taking care of the equipment like, like we do, you know, and trying to have a safe, clean record like we do, you know, so. But anyways, let's get on up into McDonough. And it's race weekend. I hope traffic ain't real bad up here. Um, going up this, red, up this way. I seen one of my buddies headed up to Atlanta Motor Speedway. So hopefully the traffic ain't that too bad headed on that. So let's get ready to get up out of here though. Very, very, very beautiful day today. I looked outside, I put on shorts. 
and it looked like it was warm outside. Yesterday, me and my boys, we went out to the basketball court, shot a little hoops, and I was able to take my shirt off, basically just have on a white beater. And when I looked outside today, I thought today was gonna be warm like yesterday, but as soon as I stepped outside, I was just like, damn. At least you gotta put on some kind of, I, got, I had to put on some kind of small jacket, you know. But once I get back, I'm gonna go over there and shoot me a little more hoops. Try to take care of myself a little bit better. Sitting up in this truck sometimes, eight, nine, ten hours a day driving isn't really good on our health. So, try to take care of myself a little bit. So let's get on up this road. Well, well, well. Made it up here to exit 216. Right before the traffic started. So, definitely lucky about that. But when I go back home, I cannot go 75 South because got a tanker that turned over right before the rest area right before 475 so it was like a maybe seven or eight mile backup so I would just go the back way home down US 23 Let's see what we got going on got a red light red light yeah I talked to um Matter of fact, I talked to two guys who work over here at GFA, and I asked them, are y'all gonna leave? You know, are y'all gonna stay, you know? And, you know, two of them said they was gonna stay. I've been hearing a lot of other folks say they're gonna leave, but, you know, it's just like, I just can't see myself only making, owning a truck and making anywhere from 250 to $300. Um, well, let me, let me take that back, 250, to $350 a day when, when you own a truck, you know. And you know, you know, they were just saying, well, if I can make $300 a day, I'm good. I made that as a company driver. So it's just like, you own a whole truck. Yeah, yeah, my truck paid off too. But I just can't see myself only making $300 a day on a truck. That, that ain't no money, you know. I just had to put a leaf spring on here you know, after buying the spring and labor, I paid eight eight oh six out the door. And if I'm only making two fifty to three hundred dollars a day, I mean, think about how long it's gonna take for me to replace that money. You know, but say, like I said, luckily, you know, I got other skills I can go make money on the side to keep me afloat until these until I find something else. But I just can't see myself running up and down this road um, for freaking. An average of $300 a day, I mean, them Koreans are definitely getting over on us. And I'm going to try my best to, to not run this truck as much as I can until I get on board with the new company. Um, but I'm not going to sit around and not make a dollar. You know, I got to make a dollar. I just can't sit in the house and not do anything for the day. You know, that's just, that just the type of person I am. I got to go and find something to do with myself, you know, so, see fuel up here is $3.79, but yeah, those rakes, man, when they took them, when they, when they, I had been hearing that they was going to take them down, but the source who I got them from, I didn't believe him, you know, sometimes he could be a credible source, but sometimes he over, he sugarcoat stuff sometimes, and it's just like, man, they're not gonna take the race down. They know they're gonna lose a lot of drivers if they take the race down. But the reason they did take them down is we lost accounts. We lost Costco, we lost Lowe's, and we lost Aaron's. Um, those, neither one, neither one of those accounts was dropping hook that was all live and low. And when I went in there and talked to the terminal manager about, hey, you know, what's up with the rates and stuff? I'm saying, come over here. What's up with the rates? You know, and he was just like, we lost those three accounts right there because a lot of drivers didn't want to go to those places. He was just like, everybody wanted to do drop the book. 
I was going to those places, you know, they were some of the highest paying places that we went to, so I'm going after the dollar. You know, but you know, I got a, a I, I know about two or three drivers that said I'm not going to go over there to those places, you know. You know, they like to be at home before noon or one o'clock, you know, and they're just like, okay, you know, I go get the money. You know, they pay the most. I'm out here to make money, so I might well go to these places, you know, so place is kind of dead today. Now, I can't even tell you no lie. I will miss coming up here um, because this was this is it was one of the easiest accounts you know, that I have ever ran since I've been out here doing containers. Very, very I thought it was a Samsung thing, the reason they took the rates down. But but they dropped the they dropped the um brakes for this place right here as well, you know. So I really think it's just about people being greedy, you know, and that's sixty-four dollars a day insurance coming out of our check. We are basically paying for their authority, you know. Just like now, I ain't never paid this much insurance a day in my life, you know, since I own my truck. And y'all want us to pay this, so it's just like, oh, okay. This okay, y'all, y'all are definitely getting over on us. And you're taking the pay down and fuel is going up in the air, going real high. Just like, how in the world do y'all expect us to take care of a, our family, our truck, save money? Um, and they heard our mouth. They heard, they have heard our mouth loud, but they don't care. And I was actually going to go down to Florida again. And I told myself, why? He said, he said, we're getting backed up on, on Groveland, Florida. I need to go to Florida. And I'm just, I'm like, I'm not finna go down there. It ain't worth it. You know, y'all making more out of the deal than I'm making out of the deal. And I'm leaving my family at home. What if I go down here and something happen to my truck? What if this, what is that? I'm not worried about y'all being behind on y'all loads. Y'all ain't worried about me being behind on my payments at home, you know, if I got to put my hand on something. So it's just like, <laughs> y'all better find a way to get that load down there yourself because I'm not going to take it. And I guarantee you that box set on the yard after that. All right. I'm looking for it to peeling all this off. And when I take it to get washed, after I take it to get washed, I'm gonna get some of, I think it's called, I can't remember what it's called, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it and get all of these places from where these old stickers was at. I'm gonna get all that stuff off of here. And get this baby cleaned back up. Yeah, I'm gonna get her clean back up how she um how she's supposed to be. Yo, wrong glove, DJ, wrong glove. Yeah, I'm gonna get everything clean back up and really don't have too many things I really need to do to it mechanically. Get this plug in. I really don't have too many mechanical things I um need to do to it. I sent her my DOT inspection Friday, so she said that looks good. My next inspection is in like, I think it's June or July. So by the time that roll around, I'll be done put shocks on it, brand new front tires on it and you know, hopefully I don't have nothing really major wrong with it. 
by the time um by the time the inspection rolled around. I try to stay on mechanical issues. When when my mechanic put that um leaf spring on the other day, I just had him check out other things up front. He said everything basically looked good, you know. Outside of shocks, we know we need, I know I need shocks. But um said everything else looked good. On it, so just got to make some money with it. It's crazy how your income go from freaking over three thousand dollars a week, you know, working six days to working five days and only bring it home fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars. Like, <laughs> I just can't see myself continuing to do it. I don't give a damn how light the load is. But I did take a 51,000 over to Alabama the other day. It paid pretty decent. That's the reason I did it. Um, it paid right below $1,100. If I had to win the port, I would have got more, but I didn't go in the port. So it paid right below 1100 So. That kind of justified me going over Um, 
because I was just, I was getting it, you know. You know, my motto was you better make it when you can make it because you can't always make it. Yeah, yeah, you better make it when you can make it because you can't always make it. And see, when they're cutting the rates, they don't, how they cut the rates and stuff. Um, we haven't been able to work six days like we was. And then you cut the rates and insurance higher. So, like I was saying back then, when we was able to run six, seven days a week, I was just getting it, getting it, getting it, getting it. And here go the time I was talking about right here when everything, you know, when the rates went down and we only doing five days. Um, it's really pathetic the way that this company helped, you know, how they, how they took the money down. It's really, 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 really pathetic, you know. And if somebody keep on doing it. Some, people gonna keep on doing these. People gonna keep on doing them. I already know, you know. Like my partner said, he don't want to go nowhere. Um, and don't haul anything really heavy. I don't want to haul anything heavy either, but if you pay me good money, I will haul something heavy. But this new company I'm going to, she say most of their stuff is like 30,000 pounds, you know, and that ain't bad, you know. Um, over here, we got some stuff that go up to Kumo that weigh about 30,000. Like this one right here, last one I took, 20, 25, you know. So we just find 5,000 5, short. I know it's all in here where I know how to go one for 32. So we take 32 over here sometimes. So going over there where it's only, you know, where it's in the 30s as well, consistently, it's not going to be that bad. I used to run to Oklahoma, Alabama every day. So I definitely ain't going to mind going to Columbus and Columbus and or Atlanta every day. So we're going to see how it, how it works out and I'm going to keep y'all updated. My wife calls me.